Today I'm going to show you what I registered for, what I actually kept, and what I used for all three of my kids when they were in the newborn stage. Alright, let's start off with clothes. So my first baby was born in the winter and she pretty much always lived in a long sleeve onesie with some pants over it, socks, and then if we were going out, a nice sweatshirt. My other two were summer babies and they really just wore a short sleeve onesie all the time. I never had separate pajamas. My general routine was I would get them dressed in a new onesie, new clothes at night, and then they would wear those clothes all night long and all through the following day. And then by that evening when it was covered in spit up or drool or whatever, then I would change them so again they were going to bed clean. Things I didn't use are really cute clothes, baby dresses, bows, headbands. I also didn't use bibs or burp cloths. Now let's talk about blankets. So I think every newborn definitely needs some good blankets. My summer babies, we used these lighter, thinner cloths. My winter baby, we definitely had some heavier blankets. So blankets are great for everything. I would use it as a changing mat, also great as a play mat. Things we didn't use in this category. So we never used sleep slacks or any of those special swaddle blankets. We also never used a crib, a crib mattress, a crib, crib mobile, um, none of the crib equipment because our babies, we all um, co-slept with them. They were just all on our bed. Some things we did use to help promote sleep for our kids. So we actually have this air purifier and we will run it on high and it makes a pretty loud sound. I prefer using it over a white noise machine, one, because it's purifying the air, so I know the air baby's breathing in all night long is actually cleaner and better for her health, and two, it provides a, a perfect background noise so that you know my baby can't hear my toddlers yelling in the background and just sleeps more soundly. For my third, we also got room darkening curtains. She has definitely been my best sleeper so far, so maybe there is a correlation. Now let's talk about bathing your baby. So we actually did have one of those large plastic bathtubs for my first and second. This is mostly because um, I found it at a garage sale for like two dollars so I figured why not. It was helpful for those first few baths especially when you're a new mom and you have no idea what you're doing. Actually for my third we would just um, hold her in the sink for her first couple baths and then because I had two older kids who were taking a bath anyways I would just kind of dunk her in their bath while they were taking a bath and just you know wipe all the cracks get all the spit up and everything um, that makes them kind of smell like cheese and um, clean them that way. Things I didn't use, I didn't use soap on my kids at all until they were probably about a year. For towels, we just use the towels we have on hand. You definitely do not need to buy special baby towels or baby washcloths. Some other grooming things, fingernail clippers, their fingernails do grow really fast and get sharp quickly. So um, the first few weeks you can actually just kind of peel their fingernails, but as they start to get thicker and stronger, you'll definitely want to have some good fingernails clippers on hand and I do recommend getting this in specific baby size just so you don't cut them with a large adult clippers and then a comb if baby's born with longer hair again you don't need a special baby comb this is just my husband's now let's talk about diapers so you either need to decide whether you're going to do disposable cloth or a mix of b both uh, my first and third we did almost all cloth. My second, we mostly did disposable. So you find whatever system works for you. You can also do elimination communication, which means you are teaching baby how to pee and poop in a potty from day one, really. In terms of diaper creams, I'll just use this nipple butter. Um, this is Earth Mama nipple butter. I actually love this stuff for when I first have a baby, just put it on your nipples. Um, it's amazing and will heal cracked nipples so quickly. And then these travel wet bags are awesome. They're waterproof. Even if you don't cloth diaper, they're good to have on hand. Um, if there is a diaper with pee or poop in it, you throw it in here, throw it in your diaper bag and you are good to bring it home. We do swim lessons. Now we put our bathing suits in here. Um, or if you're out and about and baby has a huge spit up all over their clothes and you need to change them, wet clothes go in here. So yeah, these, um, I do recommend these. And then if you're just disp doing disposable diapers, I really don't think you need a diaper pail at all. We did disposables pretty much for my second and we just threw them in the regular trash. Um, if it was like a really stinky poop, we just bring it right outside to the outside trash can, but just the pee or like small poops, um, breastfed poops do not smell. And so we would just throw them in our regular trash, no problem. Um, and then finally for a diaper bag, my biggest recommendation is do not go out and buy a super fancy expensive bag that is labeled diaper bag because they're overcharging you just because it's labeled diaper on it. 
So um, what I did for my first is I bought a really nice high quality backpack from L.L. Bean. I love the backpack model because then when I was carrying a baby, I could, you know, I didn't have also a bag falling off my shoulder. And I bought one that was big enough that could fit a baby carrier in it and lots of snacks and waters. Um, you can also just use whatever bag you have laying around. You don't need a fancy diaper bag. Again, to be, to be a minimalist when it comes to baby, things you don't need. You don't need a changing table with a fancy changing mat. Um, you don't need a travel changing mat. Again, if you're out, lay a blanket on the floor. Now let's talk about eating or feeding baby. So really you need nothing unless you're going back to work or you're going to be traveling or apart from baby. You really don't need anything for those first few months of life. Um, I have never pumped. I have never used a bottle. All three kids. I've never used a pacifier. Never had any of those fancy plates or bowls that stuck to the table. We do baby led weaning, which means we will put baby baby in a high chair or the floor or whatever once she can sit up on her own and we will put food solid food in front of her and let her pick it up and feed herself never did purees never had to deal with a blender we do have this small high chair we love that it just attaches to one of our dining room chairs already so we don't have this huge you know new structure or appliance in our house that is just for putting baby in um, this i really like she can recline and has shoulder straps so even when they were newborn we would have her sit at the dinner room table and watch us all eat and then um when she got old enough to sit up on her own it props up and has a tray and that way she can sit and eat dinner with us and feed herself um, so we really love this thing it's like 35 dollars um super cheap you can probably find it hand me down for free, um, definitely recommend this over a super fancy high chair. The only thing I would change is, um, if I were to do it over again, is I would buy or look for one that was wood or made of more natural materials rather than this chunk of plastic. But if you're on a budget, this is the way to go. Now we'll cover things that I put baby in. So um, the most, most, most important baby gear thing you can buy, I would say, is some kind of baby carrier. This is actually a boba wrap and all three of my kids lived in this in the newborn stage. Whether I was at home doing dishes or laundry, baby was on my chest, safe, taking a nap. Um, if we went for a walk, baby was on me or my husband's chest. Again, safe, warm, taking a nap. For my second and third, we did end up getting a baby swing, a Fisher Price one. That was the only thing I um, bought for that second baby. And that I'm really glad I had. Uh, my baby slept great in it. Um, and it was just really helpful to have something that I knew baby was safe in while I took a shower, while I was attending to a toddler. Um, so again, not as necessary when I just had one and could wear her all the time, but when I had two or three, it was really nice to have a swing. Now, one thing you do need if you're ever gonna drive in a car with your baby is a car seat. This is again, absolutely required and one of the few things we did spend money on. Most people will tell you to buy an infant car seat. S but I'm actually gonna recommend you just buy a convertible seat. So an infant car seat is um, only a young infant can fit in it. My kids grew out of it around four months. Most kids can last in it longer, but we just had really chunky babies. Um, and the, the benefit of it, of it is that it can click in and out of your car with a base. Now, the problem with this is one, none of my babies ever slept in the car. They generally hated the car. And so as soon as I got to wherever I was going, I was taking them out of the car seat and putting them in the wrap. So that benefit of getting to carry baby around in the car seat, I never got to realize. Two, it is so heavy and it is so bad for you as a mom when you're recovering from childbirth and your core is weak and your pelvic floor is weak to be carrying around this huge load of a car seat baby. It's far safer to just be carrying around your eight pound infant than your eight pound infant plus a 20 pound car seat. Um, what I would recommend you do is you get a convertible car seat like a Graco Forever. We actually have three of these in our minivan right now um, for my six month old, my two year old, and my four year old. And they're awesome. They can fit babies from four pounds to 110 pounds and they last for 10 years. So um, they can be rear facing, they can be forward facing with a harness, they can be forward facing just with a seat belt and then they can turn into a booster. It's really the only car seat you need for your kid from birth to 10 years old. So I would recommend just 
skipping the infant car seat and going with that rather than buying an infant car seat and then a few months later having to buy a convertible car seat. Um, strollers, people obsess over strollers and I would just say you don't really need it. Again, if you're on a budget or you're trying to um, have a really minimalistic way of going about all this baby gear, skip the stroller. Uh, again, my first hated the stroller and screamed it at any time. Um, the carrier was just far more practical. If we were going, you know, hiking through the woods, we didn't have to worry about whether it was stroller friendly. Strollers are expensive. They can take up a ton of space in your car. Um, yeah, we just never use a stroller. Though when we started using stroller was around six months when we could put them in the jogging stroller. So um, both my husband and I run and um, we do have a double jogging stroller that we do um, go for runs with the kids in. Um, I would recommend if you are gonna get a jogging stroller, one, look for them used or um, that people are giving away. Um, two, if you're planning to have more than one kid, just get the double. We had a couple single jogging strollers um, and we barely used them because my first two are 18 months apart. And so, um, yeah, just get the double. All right, and then let's talk about toys. Um, so a one, two, three month old really doesn't need toys. They're gonna be most interested in looking at your face. That's what they're designed to do is to look at your face and, and hear what you're talking about and listen to you singing. Um, but right around three to four months is when they will start getting interested in toys and be able to actually pick them up, put them in their mouth and explore different things. And then when they're starting to sit up at five or six months old, then they really are just gonna be grabbing everything they can and trying to play with toys. Um, I would recommend just simple toys. I love when they're made of natural materials like wood or cotton. They um, love high contrast things to look at, so black and white is awesome. Now I have links to all these products in the description, but I just want to reiterate that really all baby needs in their first few months of life is you, their mom, and mom's milk. Um, they really don't need much else. They need something to keep them warm, so you know, a few sets of clothing and some blankets and then um, something on the bottom whether they're um, disposal diapers, cloth diapers, or whether you're doing elimination communication. But other than that, you can keep it simple. You don't need to get lost in registering for 500 things and having a huge baby shower with tons and tons of gifts um, because baby really doesn't need that much and you'll probably find that a lot of the stuff you get you can just give away or you'll never, never even use, especially after you, your second kid. Um, you'll realize that most of this is just clutter. It's not making your life easier, it's making your life more stressful. Um, I I would also say that if you're trying to save money, this is the way to go. We spent almost nothing on my first kid other than the infant car seat because we wanted to make sure we bought that new and we knew that it hadn't been an accident or anything like that. But other than that, all of this stuff was hand-me-downs that we got for free. So yeah, I have fully embraced the minimalist lifestyle when it comes to raising kids and taking care of baby and I think it has made my life so much simpler, especially as we've had to move and pack. I'm just so grateful that we don't have a ton and ton of gear. And when it is time to give something away, I'm not you know, too heartbroken because I know we're already the third family to have it and we're already the seventh kid to play with this. And so I'm happy to give it off to another kid rather than um, feeling like, oh my gosh, I spent so much money on this. I don't wanna just give it away after only using it for a few weeks. So I hope that can be helpful. Um, please, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a question in the comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. Again, I have links to any of these things that we did buy or get as gifts um, below but definitely look around on Craigslist Facebook marketplace for things you can find for free or cheap um, if you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe below and give me a big thumbs up on this video because I put a lot of work into it thank you so much